Good evening, everybody. Thank you once again for joining me for another webisode of Scandal. Can you handle? Somebody's getting three hots in a cot <laughs> for 23 months. That's what he got. Y'all know him. Suspended quarterback. Yeah, that dog fighter. That Atlanta Falcon. <laughs> now he's a convict for real this time. Yeah, they gave him uh, 23 months behind bars, people. Mm -mm -mm. Was it worth it, Michael? Really, was it? Now you're on live streaming KP duty. I mean, you're cleaning out toilet bowls with toothbrushes. You were a millionaire. Throw it all away. Jeez Louise. Well, did you all know that he admitted to providing uh, money for bets on fights? And also said that he didn't share in any of the winnings, though. <laughs> Quit it. Come on now. You're not just giving away money like that now, are you? Please. But uh, 23 months, wow, that's some celebrity justice for you at its finest. I mean, I have seen people kill people and get out in six months. That lady that killed her husband somewhere, she got out in six months. That is crazy. And he's getting 23 months for dog fighting. Yeah, that's how it goes. Well, Michael, uh, hopefully you'll learn something and you're going to find out how it feels to be powerless at other people's hands. Okay? Have a good look. Well, Vivica Fox, Vivica, Vivica, Vivica. <laughs> I see that she pleaded no contest on Friday to drunken driving. You know, that shenanigans again. Um, so she received three years probation, according to TMZ, and she will have to attend an alcohol education program. You know, still ain't going to learn anything anyway. She'll be back in the car with her 40 ounce of drinking and driving again. Why these people don't want to get car service is beyond me, because this is getting out of hand. Too old for that girl. Just like David Baldwin is too old for these shenanigans. <laughs> now he's really in trouble. Okay? Can't do it anymore, boo-boo. You just can't. <laughs> yeah, actor David Baldwin uh, basically uh, needs to bring it on home. Okay? Why you need to bring it on home is basically because Superior Court's Judge Scott Millington has basically issued a Nobel bench warrant for you because you did a cheap stunt just like Vivica Fox did and was a no-show. Yeah, David was a no-show for his progress report hearing that he was supposed to be at. But where was he? <laughs> In Toronto, shooting a movie that no one is ever going to see. <laughs> and, sad insult to injury, why are you even in out of the country? You aren't supposed to be out of the country, especially without the court's permission. So now... Your probation is revoked. So we're going to need you to bring it on in, boo. <laughs> I mean, is everybody going to jail? I guess. But we're not. We're going to move on to our celebrity photo segment. Shall we? Alicia Keys, you're a beautiful girl and all, but we can do without the camel toe. Thank you. This is the young actress from Gossip Girl. Uh, those old curtains have got to go. Okay? This is the author, David Matthews. He has a book called Ace of Spades. He tells his story of how he passed for a white man for 20 long years. Oh, because he's black. <laughs> they say black comes in many shades. That's what it does. <laughs> I'm Ebony Evans, and this is, and always will be, Scandal. Can you handle? Mm -hmm.